Greetings, educators and viewers. Welcome to the session on cyber security and ethical internet use. Learning outcomes of the program are to sensitize teachers about their pivotal role in equipping students with the knowledge and skills to navigate the digital landscape safely, to highlight the importance of preparing students to combat cyberbullying and promoting ethical behavior online, to create a secure online environment conducive to academic growth and emotional well-being. As teachers, we hold a paramount responsibility not only to educate but also to prepare our students for the life to come. In this technology-driven age, it is crucial for us as educators to not only ensure the well-being and security of our own self and that of our students physically but also in the virtual world. So let us understand how we can empower ourselves and create a secure educational environment in this rapidly advancing digital age. But before we proceed ahead, it is pertinent for us to know why is it important for us to learn about cyber security and ethical use of internet. Dear educators, on your screens you can see a few clips from different newspapers, the clips that shook the education world. But the larger question is, could this be averted? If your answer is yes, then it's time for you to answer how. As you can see, these newspaper clippings highlight incidents where confidentiality of examination papers was compromised and leaked online through several online portals and apps. The consequences of such paper leak are far-reaching. They not only undermine the integrity of the education system, but also compromises the fairness of examination and diminishes the trust in the assessment process. As facilitators, do you think this could have been prevented? It's our collective responsibility to address this issue and safeguard the integrity of our education system. By implementing stringent security measures and nurturing a culture of ethics, we can protect the future of our students and ensure a fair and just learning environment. Next on your screens, you see a few more newspaper clips. The first clipping highlights the distressing problems of students falling victim to cyberbullying and various forms of online attacks. The rise of social media and digital communication platform has unfortunately provided venues for individuals to target and harm others, leading to emotional and psychological consequences. The next clipping draws attention to the increasing prevalence of ransomware cases, where malicious actors encrypt valuable data and demand payment for its release. This incident pose a significant threat to individuals, businesses and even public services, disrupting operations and potentially causing substantial financial loss. I am sure each one of you would have come across an incident where a matter about cyber stalking, cyber bullying, impersonation has been reported. And every time we come across such an instance, we end up blaming the technology and the young generation for abusing it and then forget about it. But dear teachers, as educators, it is our moral responsibility to ensure that we sensitize our students about the safe use of internet and how can they cope up with an instance of cyberbullying. And hence, it is very important that each one of us is aware about the technical, ethical, social and legal aspect of using internet and cybersecurity. As we explore these issues further, we will discuss preventive measures and strategies to protect ourselves and create a safer digital environment. As well said, we are your oxygen mask before offering help to others. And hence, until we are educated about these important aspects ourselves, we cannot guide our students. It is imperative that today our students are surrounded by various social and emotional fears. 
Many a times, we as caregivers become insensitive to the emotional and social needs of our students because we are not aware about the crisis they come across. So let's explore what are the important aspects of cyber security. Number one, protection of students from cyber threats. Ensuring the safety of our students in the digital realm is of utmost importance. By implementing robust security system, we can safeguard them from online dangers such as cyberbullying, harassment and inappropriate content. Creating a secure online environment promotes a positive learning experience for our students. All of us have come across instances where students take adverse steps due to cyberbullying. In an ever-growing world, it is crucial for us to ensure that our students are safe in the cyber world. Number two, protection of confidential school data. Increasing incidents of data theft and manipulation is one of the rising concerns for school managements and teachers. Confidential school data, including school records and sensitive information, must be protected from unauthorized access and breaches. Strong cybersecurity measures such as encryption, secure networks, and regular data backups help maintain the privacy and integrity of the valuable information. An organization must be proactive in ensuring that all cyber safety measures like firewalls are in place to ensure that the data is not breached at any level. Along with this, it is very important that teachers save their data using a strong password. One must not save important files on computers being used by students or in public like cyber cafe. Protection from data leak. Preventing data leaks is crucial to maintaining trust and safeguarding the reputation of our educational institutions. By implementing data loss prevention strategies, conducting regular security audits and educating staff on secure data handling practices, we can minimize the risk of data leaks that could compromise sensitive information. Regular teacher trainings and workshops work as alert and reminders to practice safe cyber practices. Protection from identity theft. Identity theft can have severe consequences for both students and staff. Educators must educate students about safe online practices, including strong password management, avoiding sharing personal information with untrusted sources, and being cautious while engaging in online activities. Incidents of identity theft may cause emotional breakdown and lead to serious consequences. By promoting awareness and best practices, we can reduce the risk of identity theft incidents. Sensitization of students for their socio-emotional balance. As we have been discussing that absence of cyber safe practices can cause anxiety and depression among students, hence we need to understand that cyber security is not just about protecting data. It also extends to the well-being of our students. Sensitizing students to the potential risk of digital world and providing guidance on responsible online behavior promotes their socio-emotional balance. Encouraging open communication and supporting students in navigating the online landscape can help mitigate the negative impact of cyber threats on their mental health. By addressing each of these aspects, we create a safer and more secure environment for our students and staff, ensuring their overall well-being and fostering a positive educational experience. In our interconnected society, Technology has brought about numerous opportunities, but it has also introduced new challenges. There are numerous risks and threats in digital world that we come across often. We often come across incidents where students are involved in online gaming that leads to serious repercussions. Such risks and threats need to be discussed with our students to keep them prepared from falling prey to same. 
let us delve into the risk and threat of the digital world that we must be aware of. Number 1. Cyber bullying. Cyber bullying refers to the use of digital platforms to intimidate, harass or harm individuals. It can have severe emotional and psychological effects making it crucial for us to educate students about prevention strategies and foster a safe online environment. As educators, it is essential to be aware of these issues and proactively educate students about prevention strategies while fostering a safe online environment. Encouraging empathy, promoting responsible digital citizenship and establishing clear guidelines on internet use are crucial steps in addressing cyberbullying effectively. Number 2. Cyber Stalking Cyber stalking is a crime committed when someone uses the internet and other technologies to harass or stalk another person online. Even though cyber stalking is a broad term for online harassment, it can include defamation, false accusation, teasing and even extreme threats. In recent times, many cases have been reported where the young generation is found insecure and unsafe on internet due to unethical practices. Identity theft. Identity theft is a broad term that applies anytime someone steals your personal information such as your social security number and uses it to create a new account, make a purchase or commit other fraud. Due to the nature of technology and the internet, your personal information is always at risk. Almost each one of us would have encountered an incident on social media platform where you or someone in your known reported about their identity theft. Using the fake social media account, cyber criminal seek money by fooling others. Security hacker. A security hacker is someone who explores methods for breaching defenses and exploiting weaknesses in a computer system or network. Hackers may be motivated by a multitude of reasons such as profit, protest, information gathering, challenge, recreation or evaluation of a system weaknesses to assist in formulating defenses against potential hackers. Ransomware. Ransomware is a type of malware that locks a victim's data or device and threatens to keep it logged or worse unless the victim pays a ransom to the attacker. The earliest ransomware attacks simply demanded a ransom in exchange for the encryption key needed to regain access to the infected data or use of the infected device. By making regular or continuous data backups, an organization could limit costs from the, these types of ransomware attacks and often avoid paying the ransom demand. Phishing. Phishing is an attack that attempts to steal your money or your identity by getting you to reveal personal information such as credit card numbers, bank information or passwords on website that pretend to be legitimate. Cyber criminals typically pretend to be reputable companies, friends or acquaintances in a fake message which contains a link to a phishing website. I am hopeful that you are now aware about the various kinds of risks and threats that we are surrounded in the cyber world. By understanding these risks and threats of the digital world, we can proactively address them and promote a safer online environment. We also need to understand that anyone could be a victim of cybercrime and anyone could be the one who could be behind a cybercrime. Hence, it is pertinent for us to educate our students to adopt ethical internet uses. We must make them aware about their consequences of getting involved in any activity that is identified as a cybercrime. Let's explore effective strategies and best practices to mitigate these challenges and protect ourselves and our students from potential harm. 
Let us now watch an informative video that sheds light on a significant issue in the digital world, cyberbullying. This video will serve as a valuable resource to deepen our understanding of the harmful impact cyberbullying can have on individuals, particularly students. By watching this video, we will gain insights into the experiences of victims. The tactics employed by cyberbullies and the importance of raising awareness and fostering a supportive environment to combat this issue effectively. After watching the impactful video on cyberbullying, it is evident that we must take immediate action to address this pressing issue by fostering open communication, promoting empathy and providing support systems, we can create a safe and inclusive digital environment where every student feels valued and protected. Let us commit ourselves to stand up against cyberbullying and creating a positive and nurturing educational environment for our students. It is now the time to discuss about cybercrime in detail. In today's interconnected world, the rise of digital communication has unfortunately brought with it new challenges. The digital world has exposed us to new avenues of crime. As well said, technology is a useful servant, but a dangerous master. It is necessary for us to understand that we regularly talk to our students about the use and abuse of internet. Organizing activities and planning sensitization sessions for our students on cybersecurity has become the need of the hour. As educators, let us acknowledge the emotional and psychological toll it takes on individuals, especially our students. As the world is increasingly interconnected, everyone shares the responsibility of securing cyberspace. And my dear teachers, this starts with us at our schools. So let's delve into the different aspects of cybersecurity, understanding its forms and tactics, and discuss how we can collectively work towards creating a safe and supportive digital environment for us and our students. The first aspect is the technical aspect. Use safe search options while searching information on the internet. As educators, it's crucial to lead by example and emphasize the importance of using safe search options when conducting research online. By utilizing filters and tools that ensure reliable and appropriate content, we can provide our students with a safer online learning experience. Avoid using unsecured and free Wi-Fi. Teachers should be aware of the risks associated with free and unsecured Wi-Fi network. When accessing the internet at school or during educational events, prioritize secure networks or consider using a virtual private network, VPN, to protect sensitive data and maintain a secure digital environment for both ourselves and our students. Check if the website's URL begins with HTTPS. Let's remember to check the website's URL for the presence of HTTPS when recommending online resources to our students. By doing so, we can ensure that the websites we direct them to have implemented encryption measures, protecting their privacy and ensuring a safer browsing experience. Use a strong and unique password. It's essential for us as teachers to set a good example when it comes to password security. By using strong and unique passwords for our educational accounts, we demonstrate the importance of safeguarding sensitive information. Encourage your fellow teachers to adopt this practice and educate students about the significance of creating strong, unique passwords for their own accounts. Think before you click. As educators, we play a vital role in teaching digital literacy skills. 
let us remind ourselves to exercise caution and think critically before clicking on links, especially in emails or unfamiliar websites. By incorporating this mindset into our own online practice, we can guide students to develop the necessary skills to navigate the digital landscape safely. Do not click on keep me logged in. It is crucial for teachers to be mindful of the risks associated with selecting the keep me logged in option on websites or apps. By logging out after each session, we reinforce the importance of protecting our personal information and maintaining secure access to our accounts. Let us be proactive in adopting this practice and encourage our colleagues to do the same. Do not share, upload confidential data in cloud storage systems. As educators entrusted with confidential information, it is our responsibility to handle it securely. Let us avoid sharing or uploading sensitive data in cloud storage systems unless we are confident about the security measures provided by the service. By being cautious, we protect both our own and our students private information. Now let us discuss the ethical aspects. By addressing the ethical aspects of cyber security, teachers can contribute to creating a safe and responsible online environment for both themselves and their students. First, do not intentionally use the computers to retrieve or modify the information of others. As educators, it is crucial to lead by example and emphasize the importance of respecting the privacy and information of others. Let us remind our fellow teachers and unauthorized access or tampering within someone else's data is not only unethical but also illegal. Encourage them to foster a culture of respect and responsible digital behavior among their students. No plagiarism. Plagiarism is a serious ethical violation that undermines academic integrity. It is important to remind teachers to uphold honesty and integrity in their own work and to educate their students about the consequences of plagiarism. By promoting proper citation and originality, teachers can instill in students the values of academic integrity and ethical behavior in the digital realm. Never give a fake identity while interacting with people online. Teachers should be aware of the ethical implication of maintaining authenticity and honesty in online interactions. Let us emphasize to our fellow educators the importance of using their real identities when engaging with others on digital platforms. By setting a positive example, teachers can teach students the value of transparency, accountability and responsible online communication. After ethical aspects, let us now see the social aspects. Avoid sharing your personal information on social media sites. As teachers, it is important to remind our fellow educators about the significance of protecting personal information on social media platforms. Encourage teachers to be cautious about the type of personal information they share online, such as home addresses, phone numbers or sensitive details. By practicing privacy and discretion on social media, we can safeguard our personal lives and set a responsible example for students. Monitor students' behavioral changes or attitude differences. Teachers play a crucial role in observing and addressing any behavioral change or attitude differences in their students. In the context of cybersecurity, it is important to recognize that certain online activities or experiences can impact students' emotional well-being and behavior. By keeping a watchful eye and maintaining open lines of communication, teachers can identify and support students who may be facing cyberbullying, online harassment or other digital threats. Now, let us discuss the legal aspects. 
do report cyberbullying to the concerned authorities. Teachers should be aware of their role in addressing cyberbullying incidents. It is important to educate fellow educators about the legal implications of cyberbullying and encourage them to report such incidents to the appropriate authorities within the school or district. Prompt reporting helps protect the well-being of students and allow for necessary action to be taken to prevent further harm. Keep a record of every comment received from a cyberbully for taking further action. Teachers should advise their colleagues to document and preserve any evidence of cyberbullying incidents. Keeping a record of offensive or harmful comments, messages or images allows for a stronger case when reporting to school administration or law enforcement. It can also aid in identifying patterns of harassment and ensuring appropriate consequences for the cyberbully. Beware of phishing emails. Phishing emails are fraudulent attempts to deceive individuals into revealing sensitive information or downloading malicious content. Teachers should be aware of this threat and encourage their fellow educators to exercise caution when dealing with emails, especially those asking for personal information or urging immediate action. By raising awareness about phishing, teachers can help prevent data breach and protect themselves and their school's sensitive information. Teachers' role in creating cyber awareness as we delve into the topic of creating a digitally safe school environment, we must recognize the crucial role the teachers play in shaping this landscape. Through their guidance and expertise, teachers have the power to cultivate a culture of online safety, empower students with digital literacy skills, and promote responsible digital citizenship. This could be done by integrating the theme into the school's annual planner. Following are a few suggestive activities that can be planned to sensitize the students about cyber security and ethical use of internet. Cyber Jagrukta Divas CBSE encourages schools to celebrate Cyber Jagrukta Divas to raise awareness about cyber safety and ethics. This initiative involves conducting workshops, organizing interactive sessions, and engaging students in activities that promote responsible online behavior. Nukkar Natak Additionally, CBSE advocates for the use of Nukkar Natak, street plays during school assemblies to create a powerful impact and drive home the message of responsible online conduct. Even slogan can work out loud. Competitions at school level. Poster making competitions among students can amplify the message of cybersecurity. Poster making can be an effective way to spread awareness about cybersecurity and educate people about the importance of online safety. This not only imparts knowledge but also helps students internalize key concepts. Workshops for students and parents. By conducting workshops and involving not just students but also parents, the school community and external experts, we can create a comprehensive approach to address cyber safety concerns. In conclusion, cyber safety ethics and bullying demand our immediate attention as educators. By understanding the challenge, and promoting ethical behavior, we can create a safer cyber environment for our students. Remember, cyber security is a shared responsibility and it boils down to this. In cyber security, the more systems we secure, the more secure we all are. Thank you teachers for your participation in this program on cyber security. Your commitment to our students' digital well-being is commendable. Let's apply the knowledge gained to create a safer online environment. Together, we can foster a culture of cybersecurity and protect our students in the digital era.